The term Ice Age is often mentioned in climate change and evolution videos. It will help if we have a clear idea of just what an Ice Age is. There is a confusion that needs to be addressed. It is encapsulated by these three statements. The first statement says that we are currently in an Ice Age. It is the Quaternary Ice Age which began approximately 2.6 million years ago. The second statement asserts that the last Ice Age ended approximately 11,500 years ago, while the third statement has it that we live in the Holocene interglacial period that began approximately 11,500 years ago. Each and indeed all of these statements can be found in the literature of Ice Ages. However, there is a contradiction lurking in these statements which can and does lead to uncertainty. To unravel the contradictions, we will start with this statement, which provides a descriptive overview when it says that an ice age is a period of long-term reduction in the temperature of Earth's climate, resulting in an expansion of the continental ice sheets, polar ice sheets and mountain glaciers. So far, so good. We then need to understand that an ice age is not a simple continuum, but instead is made up of warmer and colder periods. The colder periods are called glacials, and the warmer periods are known as interglacials. Now we come to a source of confusion. For while it is agreed that if there are ice sheets on the northern and southern hemispheres, as at present, then we are in an ice age. It is often also said that the last ice age ended 10 or 11,000 years ago. Both of these statements cannot be true. To clarify, we make two definitive statements. We are currently still in the Quaternary Ice Age that began around 2.6 million years ago and we are currently living in the Holocene interglacial period which began around 11.6 thousand years ago. So returning to our statements, two are correct and one is technically false. A slight adjustment makes all statements correct. It was the last glacial period that ended 11,500 years ago, and we currently live in the Holocene interglacial period. Finally, it is useful to have an idea of the true scale of our current ice sheets. The Antarctic ice sheet covers 5.4 million square miles, which is 40% more than the entire United States of America.